everyone, it's Karen Baker here with another few ideas and this time we are going to be looking at craft kit number 27 from Tonic Studios and I know some of you will be really excited about this because it is all about magical fairies and other stuff and you can see if you look online, if you look on the Tonic Facebook page, uh, there is an unboxing um, Owain and Alison did one uh, I think it was the other day and there are some beautiful projects and you'll be able to see all of the products that actually come in the kit. I'm just going to show you briefly um, the sort of colours and the sort of style that it's in and if you want to look in more detail do check those other videos. So you can see the colour um, that we've got in the different card stocks and specialty papers. You can see there's not much left of this one because <laughs> that's what I've really used mostly for my projects. But you can see it's very um, pretty. You've got lots of um, different textures and sparkles. So those are the colors. It's gonna give you an idea. Now, if you have a little look here, again, it's really hard to see um, from flat dies, but you can see all of the different dies that we've got here. That you can create circle cards, all sorts of things, layers, really, really beautiful. And you've also got leaves, you've got some of the uh, larger leaves which match the stamps. So if I bring these up here, you can see that you've got um, this leaf and this leaf which match perfectly these two stamps here so you can create really beautiful looks and you've got two fairies and two flowers so let me show you what sort of thing we're going to make today I'm going to show you three ideas and we're just going to make one of them otherwise the video would be way too long and boring so the first thing I'm going to show you now it's going to be hard to see from this angle but yeah, it's going to be nearly impossible to see I just wanted to show you this way around so you actually can see what I am talking about. I know it's nearly impossible to see, but you can see we've got a little hanging here. And if I flatten it and lay it down here, you'll be able to see. There we go. So you can see what we've done there. And it's really, really easy. It's so easy. I'm not going to show you how to do it. All it is, is two of everything. So I've cut out two of the outer, two of these I've created um, with the pinky, color which is the satin mirror card I've created two of these frames I've cut two of these inner ones and you'll need this one here to cut that out and for the outer one you'll need this one to cut them out so you need these two together as well and then all you do is you lay down lay them out so you put the bottom one down of each of them obviously remembering that you need to put them back to back so the colour does show through. So you're going to lay them all down in order and then you're going to put a piece of embroidery thread, just lay it across the whole length and then you're going to glue the other parts that match on the top. It really is super simple. Um, and then all I've done is I have added some of the Nouveau drops that you get in the kit. This one is pink champagne. And you can see, see how lovely that is. Um, so you can see on here, if I turn it round, it's all turned around. You can see there, they look different when the cardstock is dark to when the cardstock is light. So it's really, really beautiful. That's really nice and easy. Would be great to go in a card for somebody's room, anybody who likes fairies. Or a little child. So that's the first idea. The second idea is using some of the stamps. Now I have used a few extra um, products. Normally I do like to try and keep to what is in the kit because I appreciate that some of you might be beginners and don't have massive amounts of extra craft products. But this, um, obviously the one before that we were using there, it's just some extra black cardstock. It's not going to be hard for people to find a piece of black cardstock. And then this one here, again, we've got the black cardstock. And actually, these little rings that I put it on the wreath was the leftover bits from the um, bits that I cut out for the hanging um, frame or mobile, whatever you want to call it. And then I've just stamped 
I have used a few more of the Nouveau alcohol markers. Um, the browns, which are you know all over here, I have used the alcohol markers that come in the kit, which is this one, which is the cookies and cream set. If you haven't got any extras, you know, there's always a great time to buy a few more if you know that you're going to get lots of use out of them. I've just added um, some oranges and green and red. So it's nice and easy and all I've done is just add them on. Some of them have got um, foam pads and some of them are just stuck straight on. So that's nice and easy. And don't forget, you know, although this is autumnal, change it to some red and greens and you've actually got a really pretty Christmas wreath as well. So that's the second idea. The third idea which we're actually going to make is this one here, this card, which is very simple, really effective. You could churn through lots of these. So if you wanted to give these away, um, you could make lots of these and it doesn't actually use very much of anything. So you could get away with making your, um, the, st the stash that you actually get in the craft kit, it'll just go on and on and on. So I'm gonna show you how to make this one. So let's get started. So these are all of the items that you're going to need. These come with the kit. Um, we've obviously got our stamps. You are going to need some sort of an ink pad, um, the hybrid, and this is the black shadow one. This is perfect for alcohol markers and for watercolor or just general stamping. So this is a really good multi-purpose ink that you've got there. Um, I've got a white gel pen and a black marker. And the only bits that extra that you're going to need that you may not have, and again, these are all available on the Tonic store, are a set of greys, okay? And it's 485, 487, and 489. And the only things you need to cut out are a circle, and that's using the smallest circle die. Let me show you which one. Doesn't want to come, okay? So we're using this one here. And then we're cutting out one of those. And if you cut out one of the circles, again, that was actually left over from when I cut out the mobile, one of the beautiful um, foliage sprays and two of the fairies, one in black and one in the um, pink satin. And then you're just gonna need a card blank as well. So let's crack on and show you how quick and easy it is. So the first thing we're gonna do is make our moon. Now, again, if you haven't got the alcohol markers, you could do this with felt tips, you could do it with paint, you could do it with your aqua flows, you could do it with pencils. And if you have a look at pictures of the moon, it is very much, um, just a, it looks mottled. And what I'm gonna do here is I am literally scribbling. So I'm just creating a faint effect. The fact that you're going to be using some yellow around the edges and she, um, the little fairy is going to be sat there is going to give you an idea of the fact that it's a moon. But we're just giving sort of the impression that this is the moon. So what I'm going to do is just keep scribbling. It's probably an idea if you want the uh, space around your sentiment to actually stamp it. So what we'll do is I'll stop now and I'll stamp the sentiment and it means then that if you want, like I've done in this card here, you can see I've actually left space all the way around. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You could have it going over the alcohol markers because it will stamp perfectly. So I'm gonna pick the wishing you a magical day. So pop my stamp onto an acrylic block and then we're just going to stamp our sentiment. So just lots of gentle tapping all over. Give it a bit of a wiggle so you can see whether you've got ink all over it. And then just pop it on. So pop it wherever you want it to be. And then just press, hold slightly. And there we've got our sentiment. So that's our sentiment ready. So that gives us a better idea of where we're going with all this of the motley bits. Oops. Okay, so what you can start to do is add in some of the other colors. And then to blend it, just go back with your lightest color and take the blending to the edges of where you've put a little bit before. And then go back in. 
obviously you're probably going to want to take more time it really is an effect of this it, it doesn't have to be something that is completely correct but just say just keep blending and if you blend when you've actually put some of the color down so you can see I put the light gray on first if I'm adding the slightly darker gray once I've actually put the lighter gray on you'll find that it's much easier to blend so we'll just do a little bit more and don't forget that your fairy is actually going to be over some of this so just take some more and then we're going to do a little bit up here and you can see I'm not making any real effort I'm just scribbling it's just to give an effect of the moon rather than it be a perfect representation so I'll just do this quickly so you've got an idea of what I've done and to show you actually it's not hard anybody can do it it doesn't take any great skill whatsoever we're just messing around and playing with the alcohol markers and this is a great idea if you've never used alcohol markers before and you actually want to have a little go at using them don't be scared something like this makes it really really easy and quick and simple okay I reckon we're good to go with that so that's the first bit and you could add dark color if you wanted to I'm gonna leave it like that for the moment then the next thing we need to do is just add the background of the pink and add a little glow obviously the glow from the moon is gonna give like a, a yellowy hue around so in order to do that I just got my yellow alcohol marker and I'm using the brush part not the brush part the um, chisel nib and just taking it and I'm just dragging it very gently around the edge and whilst it won't look like much is actually happening to it it does give a really nice effect when you've stuck it down so that's our yellow around the outside then all we've got to do is glue it together so let's pop our little bit of leaves on here so we're just going to we're not even going to stick all of this down we really don't need to just enough to hold it I quite like having some of the leaves free so just pop it on there so we're going to have that at the side and then we're going to add the fairies together so I've got both of these colors I don't need to have the fairies stuck down so that they're matching I want to leave a little of the edge of the pink behind so all we're going to do is pop our fairy on like that you can see here so I've got a little bit of the pink showing behind the black there you go. hopefully you can see that yep and then all we need to do is pop her on waiting for the glue to dry of course so she doesn't go sliding around all over the place and then we need to pop her on some with some foam pads so I love these big size because it means that you can cut them down to whatever size you want so you're never sort of bothered that you haven't got um, a big enough or it's not small enough so I do like these larger size that you get so we actually just gonna pop some there we don't need it right at the bottom there we're just gonna have two little bits could have probably done to make that a little bit smaller but we'll just get away with that so we're going to pop her on here like that and then all we need to do is just add a little bit of detailing now it might not seem like very much and you might not be bothered and it doesn't actually matter but if I show you this one here that I've added the white gel pen and the black you'll see it does actually make a lot more difference it gives it a little bit more atmosphere and it just adds to the whole look the fact that it's sort of magical and night time and again I'm not doing anything particularly artistic I'm just doing circles of different sizes in different place don't try and be even with it the idea is that if it looks more odd and uneven it's going to look more natural so just add lots of little dots all the way up here so we just keep going 
different sizes, different places, until you're happy with the result. So I think that's good to go. And then all we've got to do is do the same with the little fairy. So let's just pop some little dots of different sizes all the way there. And that gives her a little bit of magic and sparkle. Obviously you could add um, extra sparkle. I've just left it very, very simple. And then I've just got my little bit of cardstock. And if you wanted to use it, you could actually just use the outer edge and chop off the inside bit to save it. I'm just gonna pop that like that. So you're just gonna have it so it's sticking out like that. We're nearly done. All we need to do is just pop some more foam pads on the back. And you can see how quick and easy that is. That is something that a beginner can do. You know, sometimes I think it's easy to go to town and go overboard, uh, but you don't need to. Sometimes less is definitely more. And I really love this card because it was so quick and so simple. Let's just pop this one on. Okay, so we, that'll do. You'll probably put a few more on, but I wanna just get this over and done with. Take all of these off. There we go. So pop that on our card, make sure the card is the right way up. I've done that so many times where I haven't done it right. There we go. And there is our beautiful little fairy card. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this sort of speedy look at what you can do with this lovely kit. Um, I can't wait to see lots of magical uh, projects from you. Do tag Tonic on your social media platform, whether it's Instagram or um, whether it's on our Facebook group. We love to see what you're creating. And I think that this kit is gonna be a really special kit from the sorts of projects that you're gonna be creating with it. So thanks for being with me and I shall see you again soon. Take care, bye.